Okay, listening audience, we have with us today uh, Mr. Channel 11. And we are here today, again, Savannah Day, in the Capitol. And uh, we got to, with us today Mr. Sonny Dixon, who we all know. Uh, Sonny, I see today you did a magnificent job. Of course, you're always good being the MC of this event today. Just tell us and open it up in your own way what you thought about today. Of course, you used to be a part of this group, so you're so you know, familiar with it and everything else. What you thought about today? Well, first of all, i got to say a thank you to Chester Dunham for always being there trying to do good work in the community. We've worked together for many, many years. I don't know if you'd lay claim to my partnership, but I <laughs> sure lay claim to yours. Okay. All right? Thank you, sir. I'm serious. And one of the things that helps me to do this to any level of proficiency is the fact that I was here, Chester, because I know what it's like to try to juggle committee meetings and so forth. Nobody can come at the appointed time. So my job is to cut up a little bit and hopefully let the audience not notice that people are late or early or try to figure out the priority of who goes next, who, who does a senator go before a constitutional officer, that kind of thing. Usually I get it right. Sometimes I mess it up and they'll cuss me and tell me things about my mama that I didn't previously know, but that's all right because it doesn't hurt the crap. But the main thing I like is that you and you and hundreds, literally hundreds of others, came to Atlanta. Because when we they, they used to do this, it was 20 people. 20 people. 20 people. And I and others would walk them from office to office. We'd go in the governor's office. We'd go in the lieutenant governor's office. Then we got it bigger. And I was the first one about 20 years ago to secure the appropriations room, sit down all the Savannah people, mm -hmm. and then have the people come to it. I think it works better. Tell us a little something about the port here today. When I was in the legislature from 88 through 97, five terms, I, the port was in my district. Mm -hmm, that's for sure. I got appropriations for <laughs> container birth five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. And we fought diligently to do everything that was necessary to build the Mason inter inter Intermodal Container Transfer mm -hmm. Facility and put the groundwork in for another one, get the railroad roads working together as a result of not mine, but our efforts, okay. we've got the fastest growing port in the nation. Oh, yes. But we have to deepen it. And the, the main thing that, you know, I'm not really supposed to speak out about issues <laughs> as a newsman. But having been there been when there. the groundwork was laid, That's right. and working even then with people from South Carolina, where we have a lot of longshoremen and stevedores and so forth employed right. from South Carolina at the port. That's correct. Mm -hmm. right. And now to see the governor of South Carolina doing the right thing. Right. By having her scientists sit down with Georgia scientists mm -hmm. at the request of Governor Nathan Deal, mm -hmm. getting the appropriate answers, making the correct decision based on the science, right. and then her lawmakers, Republican and Democrat, turning around trying to hang her from the yard arm like she did something wrong. Right. It's not right. No, it's and not if, right. if you've got coal in South Carolina, you need to get a hold of those people and tell them to support their governor because she's right. The people in Georgia, the Georgia legislature, support the port in Charleston. That's right. And they mean it. That's right. We do it. We're not being like children no, about it. No, no, They're no. being like children about That's it. That's right. So what we need to do is get on those South Carolina legislators and tell them we're all in this together with neighbors. Don't be a bad neighbor. Support your governor. Deepen this harbor. Deepen the Charleston harbor. And let us both have success. Right.